morning students today we will have to discuss modification in stain and this is the part of the modification of flowing plant or morphology of the plant we have discussed in previous lecture the how roots are developed and what are the modification today we will have to discuss firstly what do you mean by stain and you know that the seed which will be germinated to produce a radical and a plumule this plumule is negative geotrophic and positive phototropic in movement and this is this particular part of the seed is responsible for the formation of the stem one of the characteristic feature of the stem is that the nodes and inter nodes should be there in the case of root we have seen that this nodes and inter nodes are not there but in this morphologically externally if you will have to identify that the given sample suppose both are the sample of the plant and we will have to diagnose that which one is the root part and which one is the soil part then one of the characteristic feature of this particular that if the nodes and the nodes are there then they are okay now before study of this modification we will have to discuss that how many types of birds should be there but but basically what is the compact leaf part compact leaf parts or leaf parts and if they are responsible to form a leaf then that is called vegetative bud and if that is they are responsible to modify to flower that is called flower but on the basis of the location this bud may be apical or lateral this apical means we will discuss with the help of the figure also let on if the bud is present in this particular apex or suppose it is the branch then this particular apex then you can say that it is apical but if suppose this one is the stem if bud is present here that is called lateral bud and if it is present in the axis of the leaf that is called axillary bud and this is the major location of the bud but it has been observed in certain and just permit plant that bud is formed from a spatial parts of the plant where the the bud is not been example bud is not been uh, not bud should not be there just like on root bud should not be there but in the case of uh, is of the sweet potato in the case of the sweet potato it has been seen that there are so many birds in the in the case of bryophyllum it has been observed that the many more birds will be formed here and that bird is ultimately converted to a new plant And this is the one of the type of the reproduction in the prefarium also that is called the chut. So this bud is very much important part of the stem. Now the stem generally erect stand on end or maybe weak, but have capacity to form. Leaf form, flower form, 
fluids and that particular part is mainly responsible for the photosynthesis. But it has been observed that the certain birds are modified to retain their life and some of the bird, uh, some of the stem which will be modified inside the soil, inside the ground that is called underground modified, underground modified suit. But it should be there that the, that particular stem must have nodes and internodes. If nodes and internodes are not present and they are inside the uh, soil, inside the ground, then that is not stem, that is a part of the root, just like in case of sweet, sweet potato. That is also a modified root. They are responsible to retain food materials. The same way you will see that the, this rhizome is also the type of the root, uh, sorry, type of the suit which grow horizontally and have nodes and internodes having scaly bird scaly leaf and this is scaly leaf are responsible to protect the bird which is present but it should be observed that their growth is always horizontal not the vertical so this type of modified stem is called rhizome we will discuss with the help of the figure also now in case of the two word has been observed that the certain stems are swollen and having eye spot that indicate that the presence of the uh, node and then in eye spot there are certain bird also. It means that particular bird will be originated on the node uh, but due to uh, retention of the food material their shape is ball like, tuber like and the best example is the potato. Potato is the type of the stem. Of course, this potato has aerial stem where flowers are present, leaves are present. But some part of that one is converted into stored food material. They, they are responsible to store the food material that is the tube. In the case of corn, it has been observed that the compact stem become very much compact and have very closely situated nodes and internodes are present and each and every nodes and internodes have but and that is a colocasia is one of them having one apical bud also it is lateral bud also and they are also responsible for the reproduction and have the colocation in the case of corn and in case of the onion it has been observed that stem are present here leaf are present here and roots are present here this fleshy leaves are present here and this is the modified stem and this type of stem is called bud so this is the certain modification of the uh, stem which will be mainly inside the soil and all are mainly responsible for the retaining the food materials for their, for their survival. Now in area it has been observed that the sum of the stem which is unable to erect stand on land they move on land in different way and on the basis of this particular way it has been converted to runner, sucker, snorer, offset. In case of runner, the step move upon land in horizontal and each and every node, suppose this is the stem part and this is the node part and these nodes have root and have leaf also. 
but their movement is horizontal. This type of movement is observed in the two grass and that is called run. In case of sucker, it has been observed that suppose this one is a plant, this is the stem and this one is the root. It has been observed that a certain birds will be originated, move here and ultimately come out. Now from this root will be here and again the certain birds originate and this type of movement has been observed in the mint and that is called sucker. But in case of a stored one, it has been observed that the suppose this one is the root and this is the stem part. Firstly stem part move on the upward direction. But after some time, it has been observed they come in contact with the soil and they form the root and again it moves. This type of movement if take place that is called stolen and the best example is the strawberry. But in case of stolen, it has been observed that the, their movement is also horizontal but not on layer but inside the water. And each and every node have bunch of leaf and many more roots are the roots. That root have root pockets, not the root cup. And that is called the that is the case of the cornea, which is also called the of Bengal, and it has Karen Pamatus, Karen Pama, and which is responsible for the provide buoyancy and they float over the water. Now the third part that is called area. It is called sub area. Now sub area means mainly on land but have different type of movements. But in this case it has been observed that the stem modified and erect upon the land. In case of the tendril it has been observed that the stem are unable to erect the stem on land. But with the help of the stem tendril, they climb on the support to get the proper exposure in the sun. In case of the stem thought, it has been observed that the certain stem parts modified into thought for the protection of the grazing animals, just like in the case of lemon, citrus, bovinvillia. It has been observed that there are so many part of the stem of course stem is also there and stem have uh, leaf and others but in this case it has been observed that the stem is also modified into thought for the protection of the protection from the protection of uh, stem from the grazing animals. In phyllocalate one of the interesting modification it has been observed that the stem become leaf like but are very much fleshy and have and their leaves are modified into spines. This stem is green having chlorophyll. It is fleshy. It has capacity to prepare food by the photosynthesis but that is not leaf but it is stem and their leaves are modified into spine. They are responsible for the protection of the, this particular plant from the grazing animals as well as they are also responsible to retain water and prevent it, uh, protect it from the mood transpiration because it is a geophytic plant and they leads their life in the uh, hazardous condition that is the genic part where the irrigation, uh, air blowing is more uh, high temperature sandy soil so its root is very much deep seated. Now in addition to that in case of cladode it has been observed that the leaves are very much flashy and they are also responsible for providing photosynthesis but prevention of the uh, transpiration and bulbil is the case of the modified stem where the bulbil that will be a 
balloon part like potato in the ear, in the aerial part and they are also responsible for the photosynthesis. We will discuss all these uh, modifications with the help of the certain figures in addition to this. Now it is the time to study the modification of the stem with the help of the figure. In this figure you will see that the see the apical bud and this one is the lateral bud. But in next figure you will see that uh, this is the adventitous bud. It is not the location of the actually it is not the location of the bud but in certain cases it has been observed at the margin of the leaf so many birds have been originated just in the case of the bryophyllum and uh, in the case of the root that is called uh, sweet potato here birds are also been originated and in this cases the bird will function as a uh, form the branch or they will be responsible for the reproduction in this case in this way we will see that the bird is present in the leaf now in the stem now we will have to study the modification of stem this figure is the underground modification of stem and this is the one of the example here the rhizome you will see that the stem modified to retain food material and move in horizontal manner inside the soil the same way in the next figure you can see that uh, this is the next modification of the bud uh, stem that is called bulb in this case we will see that the this uh, this is the case of the onion here stem is very much reduced disc like structure and this is the modified leaf and below that the roots are present here in case of it is also the modification of the underground stem and this is the case of the uh, tuber here you will see that the stem is stored stem is responsible to store the food material inside the soil it has two types of the stem the aerial stem as well as underground stem the aerial stem is responsible for the formation of the food uh, by the photosynthesis uh, the attachment of the leaf, the fruits, the flowers, etc. But this underground stem, modified underground stem, is responsible for the keeping food inside it. And this is the example of the corn, and this is the colocasia. Here, this particular a uh, this particular part is denoted by this black ray that is the node and in between that that is internodes and so many birds are also present here now in next modification you will observe that the it is the sub aerial modification sub aerial modification in this case you will see that it is the runner here there is a horizontal movement of the stem but above the land and each and every node is responsible for the formation of the root as well as stem as well as leaf this case is the sucker and this is the case of the mint in this way in this case you will see that the the above part it is also the stem part and from stem the bird which originated from this and ultimately form a new plant this is the case of the sucker now in this case it is it is the case of aerial modification in this case you will see that uh, the stem is modified into thorn to keep uh, store water to prevent the loss of water in form of transpiration it is aerial modification here the thorn and here the tendrils are formed these are the tendril and they are responsible for the they are responsible for the 
climbing of the such type of stem which is unable to erect stand on land and this case is the uh, modification of the stream and this is called philoclad here you will see that the, this particular is leaf like but it is not actually leaf it is the stream which is green in shape green in color having capacity to photosynthesize but their leaves are modified into thorn like appearance for the uh, retention of the water to prevent the loss of water from the transpiration because tomato is not there and this is the case of the xeric plant so in this way we can say that the so many modifications that is the aerial modification that is the uh, sub aerial modification that is the underground modification of the stem will take place and this is all about the modification of stem we will discuss in next video that is the leaf and their modifications good day